Welcome back game lovers. Two nice people have requested I do a Lumini guide, so here you go, this one's for you. So just press start game and you can skip that intro by pressing the X button if you like. So this is a Lumini, this cute little purple guy. <laughs> First collect some of these orbs around this loop. The more orbs you collect, the more Lumini you will get. So, first go back to this save point. The first trophy we'll grab is just for not moving at a save point for one minute. So just pop your controller down and I'll just give you some pointers while we're waiting for that trophy. There'll be four different Lumini types. These purple ones have no special ability but you can stun by using R2. Next you'll get the blue ones, they're good. You can dash with L2 so play most of the game using your blue guys just dashing through. Uh, the next ones you get will be red and they can attack and kill enemies with the L2 button so they are very useful. And the last colour you'll get is yellow Lumini and they will attract orbs with L2 so they're not all that useful but they're pretty so it's okay. <laughs> In this game there's no right or wrong paths to get to the end to, to complete the game so as long as you just keep on progressing to the right any which way is all good ah there's a distracted trophy so we can begin the game to work these pads you need to separate your lumina into two groups by splitting your left and right thumbsticks that's what will open all gates okay so now collect any orbs that are just on your path but don't go out of your way you don't need to backtrack or or explore every path unless you really want to you'll get the plat in about an hour if you just keep on progressing to the right so i won't need to do commentary for the whole time because there'll be areas like this that they're just pretty that you can just sail on through and enjoy but whenever there's anything needed for a trophy or one of the items to collect for a trophy i'll pipe up so fear not you won't miss anything so for now, enjoy the game. just approaching our first cube save point but so don't touch it just yet though turn back yeah so there it is turn around because first we need to grab a couple of trophies one for killing Illumini I'm sorry little guy so, <laughs> so split them and throw your friends on the enemy at the bottom that'll get you the leave trophy because we need to be on our own so just have one Illumini go into the cube to get the pilgrimage trophy your third one and you'll automatically get the pacifist trophy there as well for completing an area without killing anything i mean we couldn't anyway there so right this is the only backtrack i'll do just go off to the left of that first save point to get to our first crystal you need five crystals for the art collector trophy there is about 15 crystals in the game there's uh, some you'll quite easily see later on but I'm just going to show you the locations for the first five just to get it done with so then you can get on with just enjoying sailing through the game. So in this game, anything that moves is a potential enemy. So these red plant things that you can see just there that spit the little red balls. If the balls hit you, it will kill you. It's not a huge deal if you do lose all your Illumini because you'll just go back to the last save, cube save point. But when you get your red Illumini, 
it's easy to kill those red plant things with your L2 stun and it counts towards a happy trophy. So this spinny section, you know, to split your thumbsticks and it can be a bit awkward to rotate your left and right thumbstick at the same time. <laughs> you see, I, I struggle there, but you'll get there. We are just approaching crystal number two. It's just completely on the, the only route possible to go, so completely unmissable really. Just <laughs> make sure to open these pressure pad things and pick up this crystal behind them. So when you reach this big open area with the two big red enemies in it, use that as a marker to let you know crystal number three is coming up. So follow the path down. Ignore, I've only got one little guy left. <laughs> I had a whoopsie, made a little edit. So you see these blue crystals and you can just see a sneaky entrance to a cave off to the right. Go through this cave to find crystal number three. We've got our first red Lumini, the killer. There's a trophy called Happy, which is for killing 10 enemies. Now, there have been an awful lot of little enemies near the end that just take one of the red guy's blasts to kill. Uh, the little plants, so anything on the bottom, I think, take one hit to kill. But for speed, I tend to ignore nearly all the bigger enemies because they take three hits to kill. But Anyway, you'll get this trophy very easily, so no worries there. At some point by now, I'm pretty sure you would have got the fifth trophy called Hoarder, 
which is just for collecting 50 of the orbs. I mean, you'll be collecting hundreds, maybe thousands of orbs, so you'll definitely get it at some point of playing. Okay, just down this path is the area they're calling the Sanctuary, which is the area needed to grab two miscellaneous trophies. So first open these pads, like splitting your lumina, like you know with your thumbsticks. And once through this gate, on the left-hand side, just push up against these, um, whatever you want to call them, but it's an instrument of some sort, and that'll get you your sixth trophy musician. So that's the easy part. Now the mildly tricky part. You need to go back to the top and we need to lure an enemy just over the edge a little bit. And we're gonna be getting our first kill, but do make sure that he it's in the right position that he's gonna fall down here. So don't kill him too soon. <laughs> and once he's dropped down all the way down there, you'll get the offering trophy. So yeah, lure him over first. Come on, big guy. <laughs> yeah, sometimes you get stuck on the bottom like that, so just keep trying to tease him over. Come on. Gotcha. One more. your toast buddy so there you see how he's falling down perfectly as soon as he lands at the bottom you'll get the trophy So just past that sanctuary, we'll find the four of crystals. So just keep going to the top edge of the cave and you'll see this snaky cave entrance over here for your fourth crystal. So to open this big gate is simple enough. Split your Lumini, get one bunch on this right hand button, get the second bunch on the bottom button and turn the stone thing until the purple bits are just about touching. It doesn't have to be completely perfect. So once they're lined up enough, then put the other group on the left button, which will open the gate. Thank you. 
Okay, the fifth and final crystal needed for the Art Collector Trophy is just coming up. Just behind another one of these spinny doors. So first, split your Lumini and have one half of your group leaning up against that door. Yeah, because I forgot to do that to start with. <laughs> so you need one against the door, ready to nip through quick, otherwise it won't be open long enough. And the other one's doing the spin. Okay, here is the fifth crystal. So from now, you can completely ignore, I think nearly the majority of these spinny door things. Most of them are just for crystals or little bonus things. There's very few that are needed for, you know, game progression. So yeah, you can ignore all crystals from now on. So just keep on progressing through the game again. Kill these smoke blowing ground enemies with your red guy. They all count towards the happy trophy as well for some nice easy little kills.
We're just coming up to a quite important marker I want you to notice. So when you see this cube that's struck by lightning, do take notice of that because from here we can now collect the three upgrades needed for the mutation trophy. So from this cube struck by lightning, take the first down and left path to find the first upgrade. Down and to the left. So my blue guys are leading, so you can see the upgrade is blue. Just stun through the vines to get through it and that has upgraded my blue guys. So this next cube save point gives you an easy marker for the next upgrade we need to find. So just go straight up to the very top of the screen when you get to the open area. So here just keep going straight to the top so you can't go up anymore. It'll like whoosh you back down when you reach the top. Okay so now go straight to the right. And here it is. So again, do remember, turn to your red Lumini. So make sure the upgrade is red before you go towards it. Because <laughs> you must make sure you have one for each colour. That's what's needed for the trophy. So here is where my happy trophy unlocked. This is just a reminder, you can kill these plant things on the bottom. They count towards the 10 kills. If you haven't got that trophy yet, don't worry at all, because in the very last world, there'll be like, there'll probably be like 100 enemies, these little weird piranha guys <laughs> everywhere. So it's all good.
show you another bonus crystal in case you missed any of the last ones. So if you just stick to the bottom edge, stick to near the water. And there'll be another sneaky cave entrance. So you can just see the crystal to the right there. Let's go up a little bit to find the way into the little cave. There it is. There you go. In this area, watch out for um, Venus flytrap type um, plant enemies like there. Get too close and they will munch you up. And they've eaten plenty of my poor little guys, so yeah, watch out for them. We're just approaching where we can get our first bomb kill. See above the Lumini there is a bomb plant. We need to kill five enemies with these bomb plants for the Kaboom trophy. I tend to use the R2 stun buttons just so we don't accidentally kill the enemies too soon. But this time I decided to give him one little hit with the red guy. Because I was feeling cheeky. And then go above the bomb plant. And when the enemy is close enough to the bomb plant that one stun will get them both like that. Boom. He deaded. That's our first kill. It is the trickiest trophy to get really, these, getting these bomb kills might take you a couple of minutes but you'll get there in the end. Like I said, I suggest mainly just using the stun and not the kill because that will give you numerous attempts to nail it. There are some bomb plants you'll come across that just avoid because they'll be too awkward to try and get a kill from. So I'll, I'll pipe up when we're near, in a good spot for a good kill. And don't accidentally fly into a bomb by accident either. <laughs> so here you just need to split your thumbsticks to get through once you hit the wind tunnel. So split your left thumbstick to the left and your right thumbstick to the right. I failed there, but I get it next time. Okay, the final upgrade is coming up. Very easy to spot. So when you see this gate door and just to the left will be the yellow lilies. So go under the yellow lilies off to the left hand side and it will bring you to the upgrade. Do you remember? Switch to your yellow lumini triangle. Oh yeah, make sure the upgrade is yellow before you pick it up. And that will unlock the mutation trophy, the tenth one. I'm going to show you where one more upgrade is. It, I could only find four in the whole game, really, so there's not many about. And it's not far. But I'm going to show you this bonus one. Because if you upgrade the red one again, he becomes like a, a serious killer. He gets an, a, a triple stun, which is just makes your life so easy when blasting through the final stages it makes all the enemies nothing they quiver at your feet or actually they just die so the bonus upgrade just go straight up the top of this plant stalk and there it is remember to switch to red There you go.
So in this little area we can get our second bomb kill. Now it is a bit of a pain and I'll be honest this one it takes me about two minutes to get him. <laughs> but just get the timing right, the angle right, you're better off just you know as I'm trying going behind the bomb but he's too low there. Yeah, it's a bit... that looked good. That maybe... no. <laughs> it is a bit finicky, but just keep at it and you'll get him in the end. Here is where we'll get our third and fourth bomb kill. Luckily this one's much easier, much faster than last one. He just keeps coming straight on into this one. So before, just use your stuns. 
Creep up, get his attention. Cooey. Come get me. <laughs> Boom. You dead. Perfect. And so now our fourth bomb kill. Right next to him. So this guy. When we blast him with this bomb, it should knock him into the other one. So drop that bomb. Woo, he's blown up into the other bomb. And bam, fourth bomb kill. If it didn't work out like that, you'll still be able to get in the regular way by just, you know, usual technique. But at least those are two pretty easy to get kills. And here is where we'll get our fifth bomb kill. Slightly tricky one, just get behind the, the back, the right hand bomb. But you can see I struggled, so I'm just going to speed this up a bit. Speed it up, speed it up, speed it up. Just keep at it, you'll get him eventually. Get the angle right. Boop. Bam, you're dead. Kaboom trophy. Hooray. We don't need to do any more bomb kills. But I've not got many poor babies left. But you will lose a lot of the Lumini getting those bomb kills. It's just the sacrifice that's got to be made. You are now entering the final world of the game. If you haven't got the happy trophy by now for killing 10 enemies, then you most definitely will get it in this section. Like I said before, use your red guys with that now awesome triple boom blast kill thing to get them all. Or you could use any of the Lumini with the stun button to get those piranha things off you. Either way. I actually encountered a strange little glitch on doing this video which typically all the other times I played the game never happened before but of course the time I'm making the video my red guys stopped working and they were poorly so I had no attack so I'm losing a hell of a lot of Luminite because <laughs> I decided to carry on. Uh, if this happens to you definitely close out of the game and it'll just start you back at the last save point which was only a few seconds away and then your red guys will be all healthy and doubly hard again. <laughs> so yeah, 
definitely do not continue if that happens to you because it also it won't let you finish the game I found out as ma while making this video so there you go I can also say at this point you don't need me anymore I could just leave you to it so just just keep on progressing any which way you can there's no right or wrong path as long as you're going off to the right or diagonally up to the right down to the right just keep on going and you'll complete the game when you reach a shell and you just use your stun to get through the vines on the shell so yeah i think i'll say to ra i'll let you enjoy the last 20 15 minutes or so i'll join you again at the very end though just for a quick outro and a quick brief explanation on the hard trophy or I could just tell you now you don't even actually have to play hard all you do is start a game on hard and in the intro the trophy will unlock so it's up to you if you want to turn my video off right now I don't mind at all <laughs> if you do thanks for watching see you next time Thank you. 
Congratulations on completing the lovely Lumini. For completing it, you have unlocked hard mode. And this is where we will get our very last trophy. So I'll just show you that quickly. All you have to do, press new game. Press yes, that's fine, continue. <laughs> and select hard. And then before you even get a chance to play in this little intro scene, the trophies will unlock. So that should have got you all of them. I hope the video has been fine for you. hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, I'll see you next time. Cheers.